Welcome to Movie Caps. Today, I will show you an Indian thriller film from 2013, titled, Table Number 21. Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie starts off in Fiji. In the opening scene, a person falls from a tall building to his death. This scene is then left as a cliffhanger, and the movie shifts to another scene, where we see Vivan Agusti and Sia Agusti traveling in an airplane to Fiji. Sia is excited because they are flying in business class. Vivan, however, disapproves of her childish behavior. Like any other typical couple, Vivan and Sia are unemployed and trying to make ends meet. They did, however, get a chance to visit the lovely islands of Fiji as part of a lucky draw event. After landing in Fiji, they are escorted to their hotel. Sia is still buzzing with excitement over this trip, as it is not only paid for in full, with a stay at one of the finest hotels, but they are also asked to dine at one of its finest resorts on their wedding anniversary. Vivan, however, is a little bit skeptical, as he says this is a trip that they won due to pure luck. They spend some time in their luxury villa. One day, Vivan wakes up early and is on his laptop. When Sia wakes up, she asks him why he got up so early. Vivan replies in a monotone voice, that he was checking on the multiple job applications he sent, and how many have reached back to him. Sadly none of them had responded. On hearing this, Sia becomes sad. Vivan, seeing this, tries to brighten up the mood by showing her the necklace he had bought for her. Sia is delighted, but frowns when she asks him how he got the money to buy it. It turns out, Vivan spent his savings on the necklace, such was his love for his wife. After a while, room service comes and informs them, that a lot has been planned for their anniversary, including a plane ride over the sea, followed by fine dining in a resort. The couple rejoices and then leaves for the plane. Afterwards, they go to dine in the resort. Vivan starts talking about starting something, doing something. He believes he is wasting his potential, his peak years. He should start a business or a startup, anything so that he could settle in life, and not live off the temporary happiness one gets due to pure luck, like they are doing while enjoying this trip. While he is ranting over his issues, a loud voice interrupts them. It says that happiness is not bound by any condition, and friendship is not a coincidence. This voice belongs to the ever-charming and attractive Mr. Khan. Vivan and Sia are impressed by Mr. Khan's words, and greet him enthusiastically. After exchanging light jokes, Mr. Khan learns that this is their 10th anniversary. Mr. Khan also tells them that this is the 10th year of the hotel and resort. To celebrate, Mr. Khan invites the couple to drink with him. Here, he invites them to participate in a live game show called Table 21, which has a prize pool of 21 crores. The rules are simple, they will be asked questions about their personal lives, to which they must respond truthfully, and complete the eight tasks assigned to each inquiry. The fundamental rules of the games are that, 1, you will die if you lie, 2, you are not allowed to leave the show in the middle, and 3, you are not allowed to seek outside assistance other than from your partner. Seeing the game is very simple, and realizing that such a significant sum of money may potentially change their life forever, Bivon and Sia accept the challenge. Mr. Khan gives them a set of documents to sign, and straps them with lie detector watches, which blink red when you lie, and green if you speak the truth. Cameras are also set up. Mr. Khan says that the whole game is fundamentally based on one thing, only saying the truth is the act that will lead to victory, and hence the 21 crores. After signing the necessary documents, and understanding the complexities and details of the game, Vivan and Sia are ready to start. For the first task, for one crore, Vivan is asked whether he likes to showcase his love for his wife in public. He replies with a strong no, and his watch turns green. Mr. Khan proceeds with the second part of the first task. The couple now has to kiss on the busiest street in the country, which they successfully achieve. Vivan realizes this is not a game, but a show, through which they look like fools in front of the whole world. However, in reply Mr. Khan shows them, that one crore has been credited to their account. This encourages the couple to continue playing. For the second task, Sia, who is a strict vegetarian, is asked to eat non-vegetarian food. Vivan, thinking she will never eat, asks Mr. Khan to forfeit the game. However, to everyone's surprise, Sia manages to eat the food. For the third task, Vivan has to manipulate the cunning Mr. Khan, which he manages to do. Now the couple has won three crores. However, things become interesting and dark now. In the fourth task, Sia is trapped in an airtight chamber and is running out of air, and in order to save her, Vivan must deposit 500 milliliters of his blood into a chamber. Since Vivan has hematophobia, meaning he fears blood, he struggles to do so. But seeing that his wife is losing oxygen fast, he keeps his composure and manages to complete the task. 
they now understand the nature of the problem they are in, and that anything could happen now. Mr. Khan reminds them that no harm will befall them, if they keep on saying the truth. The couple has now won four crores. For the fifth task, Mr. Khan asks Vivan to cut Sia's hair in order to succeed. Sia, who has had enough of Mr. Khan and his antics, refuses to do so. Vivan, however, interjects and asks her to complete the task. Hair can grow back, money cannot. Sia refuses, and the couple leaves the island. However, their watches start beeping, and if they leave the island's 10 kilometers radius, the watches will explode, killing them. Hence, they are forced to come back. Mr. Khan tells them they have to complete the tasks, as their lives depend on them. Thus, Vivan is forced to trim the hair of a distraught Sia. The couple has now won 5 crores. For the sixth task, Sia has to slap Vivan, the same way he slapped her when she got an abortion. Sia succeeds, and the couple wins 6 crores. However, now Vivan understands that Mr. Khan knows everything about them, and is using their weaknesses against them. For the seventh task, Vivan has to inflict damage on an unknown individual. He again manages to do so by wrecking someone's car. He then returns with video footage as proof. Now the couple has won 7 crores. When Vivan returns, he notices that Sia is not in the building. When he inquires about her, Mr. Khan tells him he has violated the game rules, as he received outside assistance for the task. As punishment, Sia was taken to a bar, where she was being stripped naked by a masked person. Vivan is challenged to save her from embarrassment. He manages to do so just in time. He takes down the perpetrator, and after a long struggle, manages to knock him out. Vivan then cuts free the tied Sia, and comforts her while she cries in his arms. It is apparent to them, that this game isn't just a game. It's a business model that researches people in depth, learning all their problems and secrets, and most importantly, their weaknesses. Later they invite these people for a free fully paid vacation, and then eventually lure them into playing the game. Sia now is just fed up with this game, and starts begging Vivan to do something. He knows nothing can be done now, Mr. Khan and the game have them cornered. Mr. Khan counters that people suffer like this daily, and they should consider themselves lucky that they are being paid for their struggle. Now Mr. Khan proceeds towards the last set of tasks. It is a rapid-fire round with seven questions. Each question wins them two crores. And after the questions, there will be one task. However, the catch is that the person giving the answer, only has to give the wrong answers. They cannot give the right answers. Sia is chosen for this test. She composes herself and is ready for them. When Mr. Khan repeats the instructions, she cuts him off, saying she understands, and he should start with the questions. The first question is simple, is Sia married to Vivan? Sia answers no, and her watch blinks red. Thus, she has passed the first question. Sia then manages to pass through all the questions until the last question is asked. Mr. Khan asks her whether she has had any relationships with any other men after their marriage. Sia replies with a yes. Her watch, which has beeped red as it was supposed to do for any said lie, now beeps green to everyone's astonishment, indicating that Sia did actually engage in extramarital relations. Vivan is speechless, and when Sia tries to protest, Mr. Khan reminds her of her boss, Raj Malhotra. Sia initially denies this, but Mr. Khan proves it by sending her boss a text message from her phone, asking about their relationship. When he answers, it becomes clear that Sia had cheated on Vivan. She immediately tries to apologize, stating she was forced to do so. Vivan didn't have a job, and her job was threatened by her boss. So, she had to do whatever it took in order to keep the job. She did this for them, not herself. Mr. Khan now intervenes, stating that since Sia has lied and broken the rule, she must die. Vivan, despite the fact that he is angry at Sia, cannot let his wife die. He pleads with Mr. Khan to let her live. Mr. Khan then offers them an alternative, kill any other person that Mr. Khan points out, and he will let Sia live. Vivan agrees, as this seemed the best available option. Mr. Khan then escorts them to a room, where a person is sitting hunched, facing the other way from them. The person seems to be mentally restricted, and does not seem to have control over his basic motor skills. Mr. Khan orders Vivan to kill him, or he himself will kill Sia. Vivan goes over and points the gun at the person, who turns and looks at Vivan when he approaches him. Vivan now recognizes him, this was Akram, the kid he bullied in college. Now looking at his condition, which had occurred due to bullying, Vivan felt a surge of guilt. So much so that when Mr. Khan continues to shout at Vivan to shoot, he cannot, and in the end, he points the gun at himself and presses the trigger. But the gun is not loaded. After this, 
Mr. Khan comes out and explains that he is the father of the person they had brutally bullied. This game was his way of revenge for what they had done to his son. He tells them that they are free to go, but their sins will follow them everywhere, as Vivan and Sia are still shocked, crying and regretting their choices. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out.